Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. Dad cheated on my mom with the girl he knew I had feelings for. My friend told me to post on here. Friend Louis told me to post on here. Said it helped him out. People talked sense into him. My dad cheated on my mom and slept with the girl I've been in love with for three ducking years. He knew about it too, I told him. And he looked me in the eyes, patted me on the shoulder and said to be myself and some other fake fatherly bullshit when he knew the whole time he was ducking her. Or planning on it. And as for her I'm ducking done with her. You can say whatever you want. She sat across from my mom and my little sisters and let my mom feed her and take care of her the whole time she knew she was ruining her marriage. All of the times she slept over our house and I stupidly thought that she was going braless or wearing short pajamas to kind of tease me but nope it was apparently for my dad. And I know she's young and he's old and ducked up shit probably happened but it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know not to sleep with a married guy if, if you've been brainwashed or not. I went to a therapist who was an idiot and told me to forgive my father. I cursed him out so I doubt I'll be welcome back there again. I'm sick of having the same DNA as that asshole. I'm sick of feeling sad over losing her as a friend because she's an idiot and I hate her. Louis says I'm drinking too much but it's the only way I can handle living without losing my shit. Ah okay, I read your friend's post. Yes, you should stop drinking, it's an unhealthy coping mechanism. Yes, you should try a different therapist. The amount of anger you have has to be worked through. If not you let your dad ruin the rest of your life as a result. Don't let him do that because you want to hold on to your anger. You don't have to forgive or ever talk to him again. You should work through your feelings so you feel better someday. Is this the A&P one? Dad screwed a barely 18 family friend? Yep. Did your friend post here that he had seen them kissing and then told you? Yeah. He's the one who told me to post on here. My guess is your dad may be a narcissist. It's clearly all about him. Go take a look at r slash raised by narcissists as a sub where you could get support for dealing with having such a crappy parent. How is the girl doing? Your friend said the police talked to her. Are they looking at your dad for grooming her? Thanks for that, I look into it. I don't really know how she is. Last I heard she's really upset, probably because her secret relationship got found out. They're not looking at home for grooming. I think they're looking at him for bringing a minor over state lines. Good. He's a predator. There needs to be consequences. She's probably also a mess because of the shame. From what your friend wrote she can't face any of your friend group. Yeah well she should feel shame. I guess my dad is the bad guy here but she did duct up stuff too. She lied to all of us. I'm really sorry for what you're going through man. Your therapist is shit. Just like every other profession, there are good and bad. You just need to find the good. Maybe your therapist asked you to forgive so that you can stop suffering but you don't need to have a relationship with those that hurt you. BTW, what is your dad's reaction to all this? Does he regret losing all of you? Is he still dating your friend? I don't know how he feels. He probably doesn't care. I haven't spoken to him and don't plan on it. I don't know if they're still dating. They deserve each other. Just saying if he says he's sorry and regret it, remember he only regrets being caught. If your friend didn't catch him he would continue looking you in the eye and give you advice while still ducking her. Besides, he's a creep and it is very possible that your father groomed her, it's completely reasonable for you to not have a relationship with her. He's not your problem anymore. You can eventually forgive him for yourself, to let the anger and pain go but can't forgive and shouldn't have a relationship with the people that betrayed you. There are something you never come back from. He knew he was destroying your family and betraying you while doing it. Remember that. Find a good therapist. There are thousands of utterly shit ones but a good one will get your thoughts and feelings in order and give you some peace. 
I really don't feel like searching through all of the shit once to find a good one. To be told what, what my dad did was ducked up. I know that already. A good therapist is nothing about anyone else other than you. It's about helping deal with your internal processes to get everything you feel to a place where it doesn't hurt as much and you aren't overwhelmed by emotion when you think of it. My internal process is that my father is a ducking asshole who needs to die. Saw my best friend's dad kissing the person he's in love with. Hey I'm 19m, my friend A is 19 meters too and has feelings for our other friend P who's 18f and who we've known our whole lives last night I was walking from my job back to campus when I saw P going back into the dorms with a guy wearing a hoodie, I was going to shout out to her but then I saw the guy wrap his arms around her and kiss her goodbye, after he turned around it took me a second to recognize him because he's normally dressed differently but it was as dad for sure. I told me last year he had feelings for P and apparently he's had them for a while but hasn't said anything to her because she's said she's not interested in dating while she's here because she's on a scholarship and needs to keep up her grades. As parents are married and he has younger siblings, I don't know if I should tell him what I saw or stay out of it. I think I'd want to know but I've never been in a situation like this so I don't know. Tell him so he can let his mum know she's married to a ducking creep. It's really ducking creepy right. Has A's dad known P since she was a child? Yeah he's known her since his family moved here when we were like four. Gross. Full on creep. Start with telling your parents so they can advise on how to approach this. A's mum definitely needs to be told. And I imagine P's parents will lose their shit when they find out. How long ago did P turn 18? Her birthday was over the summer. My parents are both friends with us parents so I know if I tell them everyone will know. That's ducking disgusting. You need to out this. I'm going to talk to my parents tomorrow. Smart move. You're still very young and clearly have no idea what to do. Hopefully your parents are more experienced at handling delicate situations. TBH I'm 33 and I would have blown the whole thing up immediately. Well it's weird AF because I'm out with both of them now. Out with your friends? Good thing you're not me because I would be dropping major hints like asking her if she's into older men etc. And I'm not trying to get myself in a mess like that it's harder to not tell A about it he has no idea I feel bad he's super into her. Normally I'm a mind your business kind of person but, she's 18, he's known her his entire life, and he's married with kids. Red flags all over. How old is he? I don't know exactly how old I know he's younger than my dad who's 42 but not by much. Update, saw my best friend's dad kissing the person he's in love with update to this post. I had every intention of telling my parents and getting their advice. But then they invited me out, for a big part of the night P was there with us. We had a few drinks and after P left A was basically saying how they had hung out earlier in the day, how he was going to tell her about his feelings for her, etc. I ended up telling him about what I saw, but I told him I had literally zero context and didn't know what the exact situation was. He thought I was messing with him at first, he thought I was pulling a prank, we went to P's room and he was like are you f ing my dad? I need you to look me in the eyes and tell me you aren't f ing my dad. And she immediately started crying, saying that she felt horrible for what she was doing and she felt horrible for lying to us and hurting us family and mom but it just started happening and she didn't know how to stop it from happening. A was really mad, he told her it was disgusting, he's known her since she was a kid, P was just sobbing and kept apologizing over and over so we thought it was for the best if we left and let her roommate calm her down. I tried to calm A down but then he called his mom and was just like did you know dad was sleeping with P? And she thought he was messing with her and she kept asking him how much he'd had to drink but she finally realized he was telling the truth and I could hear her yell through the other side of the phone I guess to his dad is this the truth, is he telling the truth? So the aftermath of all of this is that as dad was kicked out of his house, his mom is next level pissed, destroying his shit level pissed. 
P's parents are pissed too. Apparently the altercation as dad had with her dad didn't end well, it wasn't physical or anything just ugly I heard. I don't know when the relationship started but I guess the timing is suspicious enough that the cops came and talked to P, who is doing alright but just mainly wants to be left alone right now. A is still pissed, he's blowing off classes and binge drinking and said he doesn't plan on stopping until he forgets about his pathetic father. All of this sucks but I know I couldn't have kept this from A, he's my best friend and I couldn't keep that from him. I know some people think I should have kept my mouth shut but I think that would be a pretty shitty thing to do to a friend. You did the hard yet right thing op, I'm sorry for your friend. Thanks. He's not handling it well but hopefully he'll pull it together. Have him talk to the school to arrange for a semester off or something. If he's not handling things well, getting booted or flunking out is going to make things worse. I hope so. Binge drinking isn't gonna help him. He can't forget his pos father. He is gonna need therapy. Yeah I'm going to work on warming him up to therapy. You're a good friend up. Telling him while drinking wasn't the perfect timing but it's still much better than saying nothing at all. You're a good friend. Just so he doesn't mess up academically maybe tell him to speak with a school advisor as well if he wants to put the semester on hold or at least let his professors know something very personal is going on that he can't make it to classes, obviously he doesn't need to tell them what happened. Up I'm proud of what you did. You've saved your friend P from a very uncomfortable and inappropriate relationship. A and his mum needed to know the truth. Now you are supporting them both through the aftermath. Don't forget to check in with your own parents as you will need support too. I hope they are proud of you too. You are a good friend. Make sure A doesn't go off the rails. Maybe check in with P on the sly too, because this is a lot for everyone. She's doing alright. She doesn't want to talk much. You did the right thing but, it's clear they were going to keep ducking around in secret and neither A's dad or P were going to come clean, respecting and telling him you were showing him loyalty respect and love both for him and his family he is going through a lot right now is he is he going to be pissed off that you have and then trigger some of his anger out to be prepared for that because it's going to happen be there for him let him cry on your shoulder be his Achilles heel because he's going to need you again you did the right thing okay you did the right thing. Thanks a lot. You welcome man and encourage your friend to get into therapy because he's going to need it in a lot of it if he's comfortable you can go with him as support. Yeah I'm going to work on it. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are.